Would you like to be able to play absolutely any music in your Twitch live stream without having your VOD muted or getting a DMCA copyright strike? G'day, welcome to the channel and welcome to today's video. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. In today's short tutorial, I'll show you how it's possible that you can play any music you like in your Twitch live stream without it showing up in your VOD, and I'll show you this in both OBS and Streamlabs OBS. Let's get started. Playing your favorite music in your Twitch stream isn't just audible entertainment. It's a way to express yourself and a good way to gain viewer engagement through common ground, allowing you to use it as a conversation starter and keep your chat alive. However, ever since the DMCA takedown, Twitch streamers have been forced into four corners. One, playing no music. Two, playing elevator music. Three, paying for streaming services that play artists that no one's ever heard of. Or four, disabling their VODs. And none of these options are really fair, which is why Twitch and OBS work together to come up with a solution that they just forgot to tell us about. The only prerequisite for this solution is to install Voice Meter Banana. Now, unless you're brand new to Twitch streaming, you should already have this installed. If you haven't, I'm disappointed. Now, I don't currently have a tutorial on how to set this up. It is pretty simple. When I do put a tutorial up, there'll be a link up the top here. Once you've got Voice Meter Banana open and installed, we're going to use the auxiliary channel for this example. So first thing you're gonna do is right click up the top and you're gonna name it Spotify or VLC or YouTube or whatever service it is you wanna be using. You wanna make things nice and easy so at a glance you can always look over and see what your levels are at. Press enter to uh, confirm that. I've just realized while editing this video that I failed to mention that you will need to click on B2 in that vertical list and also either A1, A2 or A3, depending on which device you have your headset or speakers set up as a monitoring device. Now we're going to open up our sound settings. We wanna see this window here, and you wanna go down to advanced sound options and click on app volume and device preferences. Now, if your window doesn't look like this with input and output staggered like this, just extend the window out. You don't want these stacked, it's just difficult. Now for this instance, we're just interested in the output. Don't worry about the input. We're talking about the sound coming out of these applications. Now, just quickly, if you don't see, say Spotify or VLC in that list, it's because the application's closed. Go and open the application so it'll populate in here. Now for this example, as I said, we're using the auxiliary channel. So for Spotify, I'm gonna go and click on OGS input. And for if you're gonna use VLC, same again, OGS input. And if you're gonna use YouTube, say through Google Chrome, once again, go and set it to the voice meter auxiliary input. You can close that down. We can switch over to OBS. Now for the first instruction, we're gonna show you how to use it in Streamlabs OBS because that's what I've currently got open. You're gonna click on the little cog down in the bottom left. You're gonna to go to output. You're gonna make sure that your output is set to advanced. Now I can't change anything because I'm currently recording in this piece of software. You're gonna tick this little box here that says Twitch VOD. You're gonna set the Twitch VOD track to two, making sure that your default audio track is set to one. Then you're gonna click on audio in the left-hand panel, and you're gonna make sure all your audio devices are currently set up as they should be, and making sure you add your voice meter auxiliary. Now I've renamed mine through Spotify. There'll be another tutorial on how to neaten up all your audio devices so they're nicely labeled. Make sure that's set up for one of your mic auxiliary devices and make sure it's set to voice meter auxiliary output. Go ahead and hit done. Now we're gonna click on the little cog here where your mixer is. We're gonna make sure that Spotify is only selected on track one. Just deselect track two and make sure everything else is on track one and track two. What this is saying is everything in this column here is going to broadcast live to your audience. Everything in this column here is either gonna go for recording or to, your, or to your VOD. So Spotify for me is not going to my VOD, therefore I'm not gonna get a copyright strike. And it's as simple as that. Now we're gonna look at the original OBS. God, why does OBS look so garbage? Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up the top to File, Settings. In your settings, same again. We're gonna to go to Output, we're gonna make sure we're set on advanced. We're gonna have our audio track set as track one. We're gonna tick this box here for Twitch VOD track, and we're gonna make sure Twitch VOD track is on track two. 
Then we're going to go to audio in the left hand panel and we're going to make sure all of our devices are set up. As I said before, we want mic as being our voice meter auxiliary out. Go and hit OK with that or apply. Now you want to click on one of the cogs of one of your audio devices. It doesn't matter which one and you want to choose advanced audio properties. Here you can go and select and deselect whichever device you want on track. So once again, track one is our stream track. That's what you want the audience to hear while you're live streaming. Track two is your recording and your VOD. So deselect Spotify in track two. And it's as simple as that. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give this a thumbs up. There'll be plenty more voice meter tutorials coming to the channel very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.